youth group. Tell us about how you found yourself heading the Visayas group yeah. of uh, Isco Moreno. Because I know a lot of I, I, like I know a lot of like like-minded individuals really in the thick of the political fights there in the national. They're they're they used to be chief of staff of Senator Alfredo. Some of them are even friends with the Marcoses and then Tim Orbos also in the the lineage of the anti Marcos movement. And there was this really hardcore activist like Elmer Argano, now a an ever a, a an advertising executive in in Manila and so on and so forth. So they invited me to be part of the Kamuna Pilipinas because they knew that uh, I will be of help to the campaign. And they were asking me, "Okay, join us. Uh, who are we going? Who are we going to campaign for?" And then they said to me, "Is Comoro? It's fine because he's doing well in Manila. He has this a lot of projects. He did it really very fast. So uh, at that time, I, I, I saw already Isco in the YouTube and everything. So, so did you believe in Isco Moreno? Yes. Uh, did you believe that he was going to be the next president of the republic? Yes. He was going to be a darn good one. Yes. Winner? Yes. Do you still believe that until yes. now? Until now. But we saw the surveys. The the. I, I believe it, but the people are not buying it. So, and here but, comes. But before, before, before we get to that, because that's one of the reasons why uh, everybody uh, wants uh, to talk to you. Um, what was it about Isco Moreno, babe? Because I, I think Isco Moreno is how old is he? Forty six, forty seven. Forty seven. He's quite young. Yeah. Um, although he's been in politics for such a long time, yeah. I think he was twenty three years. Twenty three uh, years. Councillor yes, for uh, twenty three years. years yeah. And then vice mayor. And eventually, 23 years of public service. Uh, mayor, right? And and then uh, running for president. What's uh, like? Did, did, isn't he too young uh, to be president? Uh, isn't he too inexperienced? Don't you need uh, uh, special qualifications if you want to become president? Do you think he knows that? Or is this? I'm curious. Uh, this is another question, but you can. These are two questions. Is this just a prelude, a preview to his running? The, uh, for a national position, perhaps at president again in the next election. No. First question: um, Why do you think he'd be a good president? Because we, we saw the monument monuments of achievements in Manila, in Baseco, Condominium. He in during the pan pandemic, he he really he was he was on top of it like. The pandemic response, for me, if on a scale of one to ten, he did it like nine. So he was really doing well as a as chief executive. So I mean, all these things consider, considered, why not? I mean, age is just like as they say numbers. We got Zelensky, a, a, they say a clown, a comedian, but look at him. He is a wartime president and he's really doing well for Ukraine. So it doesn't matter. We, we get all aged people in in the helm at the helm of our government and they're not doing I think one of the reasons bad. why uh, Isco Moreno gained traction uh, to run for president I think is it was the way he handled uh, the pandemic yeah. in his in his uh, in his uh, city, right? Yes. Correct. Absolutely. Yeah, so um uh, can you uh, Remind everybody what Isco Moreno did during his presidency. Yeah. Ah, his, his mayor, he still is a mayor actually of, yeah. of uh, yes. Metro Manila, right? He, he, divert, he diverted the budget budget of the city government Manila to buy medicines, to, to buy uh, testing kits, to improve the, air, the, the, how do you call that? The, uh, how do you call that? Uh, when you you get COVID and then you you're gonna be like uh, quarantine, quarantine facilities, facilities yeah? Yeah. and then and the quarantine facilities. Th those are th those. I mean, I saw it with my own two eyes. Like those are not those are not like cheap quarantine facilities. Like you get really taken care of in those quarantine facilities, and then uh, when you get COVID. You get the you get the right medicine for 
against COVID, like remdesivir and then and, and so on and so forth. I'm not so familiar with the, the city of Manila bought a lot of of uh, COVID anti-COVID medicine. So, like among is in, do, even doing doing better than the national government. So I actually interviewed him uh, just a few months into the pandemic. I had, I had a chance to interview him, interview him and I actually uh, jokingly said, you know, I think the the Philippines needs someone like you. Uh, it was a joke uh, because I knew that uh, he's mayor, so it's quite, he's quite young. But do you feel by uh, all of his successes in Metro Manila, do you think it was some sort of uh, a, 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 a plan of, of uh, him becoming like a national figure and becoming presidential was it part of the agenda or was it really a truly uh, genuine effort on his part to help Metro Manila was it was it just that or did he have a bigger plan I'm just curious yeah I think even until now that uh, he, he, re he is really serious in doing those things mm. so that's no bullshit mm -hmm. so but you know, as I've said, people are not buying it. Like, probably they don't trust uh, celebrities or artista in oh, we've government. Had, we've had a president who's yes, artista. Yes, probably, Era. probably because of Era. The Ukrainian president is an artista. Yeah, but probably the Philippines doesn't <laughs> doesn't want an artista. Tagam na, tagam. Yeah, tagam na. So, what I mean is that there's there is a fact, uh. and no matter what. Is doing well mm. as a chief executive of the city of Manila. Mm. We cannot deny that. Mm. But me, as an erstwhile supporter of Yorme, I call him Yorme, like, I also had my history as a student activist. Like, look, we're not doing well in the surveys already. It's like, like, why? Go, sa Tagalog pa bakit pipilitin yung ano yung why, why would you we push it there's a matter of time is young no? so what we do what, what we ought to do is like okay the people aren't buying it next election cycle you run again for mayor and you do miracles probably because all the issues against him were were taken by the voting population as as like like true or something but you know at the end of the day there's also part of me is which because as you said i've been i've been in the business of like uh doing political uh i don't know suggestion or consultancy with local and national national uh figures so there's we are idealistic, but it should be tempered with reality. So the pragmatic side of me pushed me to 